who is Americans United for Separation of Church and State? Who who are these people? Gary, we're just now learning about this group. You know, we we've dealt with several groups that have fired warning shots. You know, over the last couple of years, but this group here uh, sort of came out of came out of nowhere. Um, it's just a group that's filed a federal lawsuit against us, and uh, on behalf of, I believe it was for both of parish parents. And in fact, the the uh, the actual paperwork calls it Doe's 1 through 4 versus Bossier Parish School Board. Uh, and I believe it's just to remain anonymous, um, so we don't know who, who they are. But uh, according to the lawsuit, you know, we're just we're being sued for promoting Christianity in our schools and classrooms and offices and, you know, during school-sponsored events and, you know, things like choir concerts and football games, graduations, things like that. Stuff that, you know, we've been doing for, gosh, as long as I've been on a school board now, it's been close to 16 years, and it's been happening long before that. So, Well, first off, I hope you're guilty. I hope y'all have put a little bit of Jesus in everything that you've done. Guilty as charged. Here's, here's my issue. Mike Johnson explained a number of things. I've got an actual piece of paperwork that I'll get into here in a little bit. But Mike Johnson has explained that uh, what these people are accusing of, us of is actually not against the law. Right. Have you even gotten the lawsuit itself yet? Have you gotten the paperwork? Well, we were just served yesterday. You know, the media got a hold of this first. Uh, it was intentional. And so, you know, for us to find out about this by turning on the news or hearing it, you know, on the radio, that was the first indication. Now, you know, we had heard that this was, this might be coming to us, but we were just served yesterday at central office. Uh, and then by, uh, uh, so, so it, it's, as far as actually seeing this, I mean, I, you, I can find it online now, but, um, We'll actually receive our hard copies this afternoon that are being made at central office for us to pick up because we're going to meet Thursday night uh, with our attorneys and and come up with, uh, you know, a game plan here. But, you know, Gary, what, what you've seen in the past, and, and I, I to say push the envelope, I mean, that's might be fair to say, but, you know, we, we've not done anything that we haven't done in the past. And. And, you know, we've taken a stance and we're going to stick to it. You know, the board has been pretty solid. Hey, when they, when they, when they talk about Bozier schools, they talk about, you know, we're top rated school system, top 10 in the state, all this stuff. But you know, what makes our, our school system special, our people special, the community special is the fact that they're not afraid to take something like this on, you know, 90% or more of the people that elect me in my district and in, in probably represents the parish 95 percent or better you know would would come you know stand with us and and help us fight this but you know mike johnson in what capacity he's been able to you know visit with us in the in the past about stuff like this of course now with his 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 job up in washington um he's got to be careful how he represents uh, as far as the legal is concerned, but he gives, you know, top advice on this. I mean, constitutional, um, the law is his specialty. And, you know, he's in, he's assured us in the past what we have done to this point is still fair and legal and, and within, you know, you, what we're allowed to do, student-led prayer, things like that, you know. But um, you're not going to see the board back down. You know, it, 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 this could get costly. Um, but you know, as far as it, 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 it's stopping us from doing certain things. I mean, we're tired of this watering down in, in attempts to, uh, stop, you know, something that's, that we know is right and is what, what's made our community and, and, and our, and our, and our, and our, and our, and our parish and, and our school system so strong. So, okay, Mike, you, 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 you mentioned uh, a couple of times now, and this was something that Jane Smith, uh, had responded to, uh, to my wife and I on, um, this could get costly. You've mentioned this a couple of times, Sure. this, you know, and, and this probably isn't the last time. Cause you know, we, we mm -hmm. thought the last time 
would be the last time. So now we're starting to see that there are those that will continue to challenge Bozier Parish. I mean, heck, you know, Webster Parish is in the middle of the same battle right now. Sure. So what can we, as citizens, not only of Bozier Parish, but maybe of the uh, of the Christian nation of Northwest Louisiana, you know, in East Texas, what do you guys need to be able to send a message to the rest of the world don't jack with us. <laughs> Good question. Um, I, I think it's it's too early to put a to put a a, a, a ticket on what this is going to cost. I mean, it's safe to say that you know stuff like this could cost millions of dollars to fight in court, and and that might just scratch the surface. But you know, we've got groups that that have that have come, you know, to us in the past, and the Alliance Defense Fund, the Mike you know, the groups Mike Johnson has worked with in the past. But the question about what we can do as a community is, it, we just have to stand strong. You got to be willing to to stand up and and speak out, you know, because this is a this is a minority. This is four parents that 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 have filed that have filed this suit through this through this group. Uh, Gary, and, and, you know, our system right now at last count had 22,000 students in climbing. So, you know, do the math on that, and, and you'll see that this is just a, a, a very, very small fraction. I mean, it, it's just, it's hard to even calculate, but yet it makes such a big noise that our people in the thousands and tens of thousands and, and, and more can, can, can can voice their concerns and 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 get behind the board, you know, supporting us that way. You know, to raise money, I, we just don't know yet. We don't know, you know, where we're going to be. We're meeting Thursday. We don't know where we'll be next week. We don't know what kind of uh, our attorneys have yet to really advise us on 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 what this, how long this could take, or how expensive this could be. I'm sure Webster could. It start to give us an idea, and, and we'll, we've been in touch with them. So, uh, but but it's just it's stepping up. It's 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 being a, a strong voice in the community as a whole. And uh, you know we're going to have to make some some big decisions here. And and if it if it comes down to you know having to spend money, you know this is taxpayer money. Yeah. And, and so you got to be real careful about this. And well, the scary and, part to uh, me is that a lot of people think that all they got to do to help out is jump on Facebook and share it. <laughs> you know, oh, that solves all the world's problems. You know what? And, and, and it really it, it does help to get a, a, a need promoted. But you it know, gets the message out. But, but that's that's but, that's all it does. And and sometimes it's not even the correct message. Right, um, right. You know, a lot of times, and 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 I, I don't even go to Facebook or these social media sites anymore because you know it's it's a firing back and forth of of just a, a handful of people, and and most of the time the information is so inaccurate. But you know, it, it, it social media is a tool in which we can get the message out. You know what our plans are. It can show. It shows what the what the people. Uh, in, in the majority, what they stand for, and you know, simply supporting the board right now, and you know, throughout the next weeks and months, and what could potentially be years of uh, of getting served, you know, lawsuits like this. It's just a community standing, you know, coming together. It might come down to where we need funds, we need money. You know, we although we've got a a huge operation, a, a general fund balance, you know, that climbs each year, we're probably, you know, near $250 million a year is what, what we uh, operate under, not including the construction bond money that we, that we, which is another couple hundred thousand dollars that's been in play. But, you know, th this is going to get expensive and, and we don't have a plan yet. Um, is it, you know, do you gonna, think, do you think that's what they're hoping is that at some point you will draw the line and say, we just can't afford to fight this fight and we'll just cave in over these four people. They, yeah. I, I really think that at some point this has all been done to say they'll cave and they'll back down and just accept, you know, whatever, whatever they, you know, the small group. Uh, is will you promise me, team. will you promise me here on the radio that Mike Masura will do whatever he can to stay the course and never back down? 
I haven't let you down yet, have I? Amen. Absolutely. <laughs> Amen. Hey, this is one of those opportunities that, as a board member, you know, we deal uh, on a daily basis with all kinds of issues, and and whether it's curriculum, whether it's whether it's uh, issues in the schools, or 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 planning for the, the upcoming years, and and you know, it, it, but, but this this is another one of those things where I feel very fortunate to serve with a group of men and women that are Christians and and will stand up. You know, we're going to make hard, tough decisions about the, the funds and, and how to move forward. But we've got a, a, a top-notch legal team that comes in, and, and they, too, are, are real cautious about taxpayer money. But at the same time, they share the same values in, in that, you know, that we do as far as Christianity is concerned. And, and you know, so, yeah, absolutely. You know you got a fighter here. Well, I want you um, to know I want you to know this, and, and every board member of the Bossier Parish School Board needs to understand this. You have a voice through Kiss Country, uh, not only through both Bristol and I, but through this entire radio station. And whatever it is that we can do to aid you in that fight, count the whole Kiss Country nation in. Well, Gary, I appreciate that, and, and we've known that for years. You guys have been good to us, but we will lean on you to get the right information out and to share with you and, and visit as this goes on. We'll keep you posted, but we certainly appreciate it, and we appreciate the prayers that and, and the messages we're getting you know, through email and, and things like that, even text messages and phone calls. You know, go get them. So uh, we won't let you down. 